feelings over facts. Feelings over the truth. Feelings. Nothing more than feelings. What's going on, people? Brothers and sisters out there, welcome back to another Real Talk. I just want to say this in this live, uh, not a live chat, regular video. The other day I did a video about when I stopped following in my heart is when I really started moving forward because of feelings. Another scripture that I love is we walk by faith and not by sight. And another one that I love also is the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak just because a lot of times you feel a certain way with your feelings that don't mean it's always a fact of what you feeling is right this is why you hear me so many times on her I tell people to get past what you feel because feelings have gotten us in trouble many times. Well, I feel that you, I feel that it's always a feeling. And your feelings, being caught in your feelings, you'll miss the blessings that the Holy Spirit have for you. Because you gotta ask yourself, because of what you feel, is it really always the truth? See, some of us know we done ran some people off in our life that was real honest to us. They didn't sugarcoat it with you. They told you the truth, regardless of how you felt. Just like I just told a brother this past Sunday, that's what I loved about the older generation. Your feelings didn't matter to them. The older people will tell you something and they would tell you to suck it up. I was talking to Sister Patricia. Mom was about 84 years old. I said, Mom, when we was coming up, it wasn't even up for a discussion. Because it wasn't no, really no options. It wasn't no talking back. And if we felt a certain way, what y'all tell us? I don't care how you feel. I bet you still going to do what I told you, told you to do. But the generation now... They so caught in their feelings. They hurt very easy. I ain't talking about all. Because some of them got that old school, so they got that old school in them. But the majority, they can't take tough criticism. Man, I remember coming up, man, they, they like I said in the other video, they spoke their mind. But when you let your feelings override, when you get caught in the flesh, this is why so many people that I know, they don't like the Bible. Because the Bible hurt their feelings. The Bible, it, it, it chastises them in, the, in a way that they don't want to be chastised. Because especially when you hit on something that that person is going through, they don't want to hear that correction. That's why the Bible say a fool hates correction. And that's what's so hard about being in relationship, man, feelings, feelings, feelings. I tell my wife all the time, she asked me to do something. She said, uh, you probably don't feel like doing it. And I, what I tell you, Didi, all the time, it ain't about how I feel. It needs to be done. I can't serve, I can't serve based off of how I feel. Because there's too many times I don't feel good. And that's the way a lot of us try to serve the Holy Spirit through feelings. And wondering why things are still the same. I just feel like God ain't listening. I feel, I feel, I feel. The Bible shows you in so many times in there to get past what you feel. The Holy Spirit is always watching how we handle things, how we do things. Are we listening? 
Are we serving? Are we being obedient? Are we studying feelings? I just don't feel like reading the Bible today. Read it when you don't feel like it. It'll still slice you up, cut you up, make you feel better. That's how it do me. I teach, I do so much teaching, y'all. And, and I tell you all the time, when you teach the word, man, don't you know it hit home first. It's going to cut, cut, cut. It's going to hit you first. Because there are so many things you're going to read about. There are so many things you're going to go through, you're not going to feel good. Do you think I, Prophet Isaiah felt good all the time? Do you think the disciples felt good all the time? No. Because following the Holy Spirit puts you in a set apart position where you will go against the world. How many people email me and say, I just feel so lonely. I feel like the Holy Spirit. Feel him. But he said, I will never leave you, never forsake you. I'll be with you always, even until the end of time. So I just wanted to just do this little real talk. You got to get past what you feel. It's your feelings, really, the facts. So I'm, that's why I wanted to use this title. A lot of people put their feelings over facts. How many people was wrong with what they felt? And they had to come back and apologize. Man, I was caught in my feelings. I wasn't right. But how many people actually gonna apologize? And on that note, have a blessed day. Shalom.